Today's lesson is about use a TVM solver to solve questions about compound interest and annual depreciation. There are some variables in the TVM solver. Capital N stands for number of compounding periods equals N times K. N is the number of years. K is number of compounding periods per year. K equals one for yearly or annually compounded, two for half yearly, four for quarterly, 12 for four monthly. I percent stand for normal annual interest rate. It will be given as a percentage. For example, when the interest rate is 7.2%, we will put a 7.2 for I percent. PV is a principal or present value. PV is a positive if you receive money. PV is negative if you take the money out of your pocket. PMT stands for payment. It's the amount of each regular payment. When you have a loan, you need to pay monthly payment. That will be PMT. FV is the future value or value of the investment at a maturity. FV is a positive if you receive money. FV is a negative if you have the money out of your pocket. Normally, the sign of PV and FV are opposite. P slash Y stands for number of payments per year. CY is number of compounding periods per year. Usually, CY equals PY. Compounding periods per year is one for yearly or annually, two for half a yearly, four for quarterly, and 12 for, for monthly. Nominal annual interest rate refers to the interest rate before taking compounding of interest and inflation into account. If you take compounding of interest into account, you will have a effective, effective nominal annual interest rate. The relationship between nominal annual interest rate and effective nominal annual interest rate is this formula. R is nominal annual interest rate. K is the number of compounding periods per year. K equals one for compounded annually. K equals two for compounded half yearly. K equals 12 for compounded monthly. And K equals four for compounded quarterly. The real interest rate will be effective nominal annual interest rate minus inflation rate. Let's go to example one. Team invested 60,000 Australian dollars in a Supermax account at a nominal annual rate of 4.5% compounded annually. Calculate the amount in the Supermax account after three years. Express your answer to two decimal places. First of all, we will figure out uh, PY and uh, CY. Both is one. And uh, it will be one times the uh, years will be three. Interest, 4.5. Present value, it's uh, $60,000. Since you take $60,000 out of your pocket, this will be negative. We don't have a regular payment, so put a zero. We are looking for the future value. 
we will put a zero first. Go to apps, enter. TVM solver, enter. Three times one, it will be a three. 4.5%. This will be negative 60,000. PVM is zero. FV is zero. Payment per year is a one. Compounding period per year is one. So we leave the cursor at future value. Then use the alpha enter to figure out the answer. Answer will be 68,469.97. So answer for A will be 68,469.97 Australian dollars. Let's go to B. Find the number of uh, complete years it will take for the amount in Tim's account to exceed uh, 86,000 Australian dollars. This N is what we are looking for. 4.5. PV it will be negative. F V is 86,000 dollars. Both one. This time we are looking for this uh, n, so put the zero. Four point five or state PV state PMT state. We will change this uh, FV into eighty six thousand. Then move the cursor to this uh, capital N. Alpha enter. Answer will be eight point one eight. Since we are looking for complete years, it will be nine years. Let's go to number two. Kim invested key euros for five years at a nominal annual interest rate of 7.2% compounded monthly, which means this will be 12 clears 12. Then we need to multiply by 12 clear 2. After five years, uh, the investment appreciated to 30,000 GBP. Find the value of uh, K. Number of uh, compounding period will be five times uh, 12. The interest rate is uh, 7.2. Present value will be zero, we are looking for. Regular payment is uh, zero. Future value is uh, 30,000 GBP. This will be 5 times uh, 12. Interest is uh, 7.2. For present value will be 0. PMT is 0. F of V is uh, 30,000. PY is uh, 12. Enter. Automatically, CY will be changed into 12. We move cursor to this uh, FV, then alpha enter. Answer will be 20,952.82. So answer will be 20,952.82 GBP. Kim plans uh, to reinvest uh, this. Uh, 30,000 GBP amount in a savings bank account. The bank promises the investment will double in 10 years. The interest is compounded annually. Find the interest rate of the saving account. Since compounded annually, this is a one, then years times one, 10 years. Interest rate is we are looking for. So we put the zero first. Present value is a negative 30,000 GBP. PMT regular payment is a zero. In 10 years, your future value will be doubled. That is 60,000 
JBP. Number of compounding period is uh, 10 years. We are looking for, so we put the zero first. PV is negative 30,000. PMT is zero. FV is 60,000. PY is one. And a CY is one. So move the cursor to I percent. Then alpha enter. Answer will be 7.18%. So this interest rate equals 7.18%.